Hi everyone, this is Frank from YOLO Live. Today I'll be sharing some insights on how to effectively invite guests from afar and manage the YOLO Box Studio. When you need to conduct meetings or remote interviews using YOLO Box, or when you want to interact with the audience, the inviting guests feature becomes indispensable. At the same time, the appearance of guests can often introduce an element of uncertainty. Therefore, how to manage the broadcast room is a question that every broadcaster will consider. For instance, when a remote guest forgets to leave the stream and leaves, you need to have the authority to remove the guest from your studio so that you can bring other guests into your stream studio. Or, when the remote guest's environment is too noisy, you need to have the authority to mute the guest's sound source. The settings you'll find here are crucial for a smooth remote session. When you click on Invite Guests, a new interface will appear. This is the place where you can directly invite up to five guests. If you prefer, there's also an option to send the link to yourself. Just click on Send the link to me. Alternatively, if you'd like to send the invite directly from the device to others, simply input their email addresses, such as shujieb2, gmail.com into the provided field and dispatch your invitation. Following this, you'll receive an email at the address you provided. The red button in the email serves as the gateway to the live broadcast room. Let's click on Accept Invite. Oops, the screen displays failed to join the live streaming event. Why is that? We can see a system prompt stating, the live room has not started, closed, or the guest's limit has been reached. So, in order to successfully enter the live broadcast room, one is to enable the Allow Participants to Join permission, which you can find in the Invite Guests control area on your device. All right, let's try clicking the Enter button again. Success! Here, it's like the waiting area backstage of the live broadcast room. You can enter your name here, as well as check if your camera is at the best angle and if your microphone is transmitting the right volume level. When everything is all set, click on Join Event. We notice that the guest's camera feed appears in the lower left corner in the video source area. This suggests that we can enhance the presentation of the guest's camera by using multi-views with multiple layout modes. For instance, the side-by-side -side mode would be perfect for interview conversations. There's also an option to use a mobile device. Picture a user getting an email on their device. They tap on the link and it leads them to a web page. Despite being vertically oriented, this offers a similar experience to that on a computer. At this point, they can tweak camera settings, mute their device, turn off the camera, and modify audio settings. For optimal results, it is recommended to access the email with the invitation link using the Safari or Google Chrome browser. In fact, the Invite Guests feature also employs the method of using a mobile phone or tablet as a webcam, even though the latter's intended result may not be related to Invite Guests. In other words, this remote guest feature allows you to use any device, such as a phone or tablet, as a regular camera, regardless of its location. It could be nearby or in a different city. You can enhance it with a light, a directional mic, or a harness, turning it into a professional camera. As for the issue of a vertical phone screen not aligning with the horizontal live broadcast, this can be addressed by turning off the screen lock settings on the phone to achieve horizontal playback. When you want to remove a guest who forgot to leave the live room, all you have to do is press and hold the small window of the guest's camera in the bottom right corner, then click on the delete button that appears. The removal of the camera feed means that the guest has been removed from the live room. If a guest is situated in a noisy environment and forgets to mute their audio, you can manage this by using the Mute Guests Audio by Default feature on the Invite Guests zone. This will automatically mute the sound from the guest's video source. In the vertical live streaming modes of InStream or Ultra, 
there is currently no separate area for the invite guests operation. We can directly use the co-hosting features of Instagram and TikTok after logging into our Instagram or TikTok accounts and establishing a live room. Let's begin by discussing how to use Instagram's co-hosting feature. First and foremost, you need to log into your Instagram account on your device. After you've logged in, you can start a live broadcast by tapping the camera icon at the top left of the screen or just by swiping right on your feed. Once you're live, there's this cool little icon at the bottom right of the screen. It looks like two smiley faces connected by a line. Give that a tap. You'll see a list of everyone who's watching your live video. From this list, you can pick someone that you'd like to invite to join you on your live video. They'll get an invitation to join in, and they can either accept or decline it. If you want to use the co-hosting feature during a TikTok live broadcast, you need to log into your TikTok account on your device first. Once you've started your live broadcast, you can see who's watching by checking out the icon on the bottom left that looks like a group of people. If you want to invite someone to join your live, just tap on their profile picture. After tapping, you'll see an invite to co-host option. Tap that and an invitation will be sent to the lucky person you've chosen. They can then choose to accept or decline your invitation. If you're interested in our products and enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more videos. Also, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to join our Facebook user group where lots of our customers share their user cases. This is Frank, and I will see you in the next video.